A question of character. The battle toads are from space. They are frogs of the stars with incredible physique, rippling frog flesh. The battle toads are three warrior frogs. Rash, zits, pimple, but not pimple. Pimple has been eaten, car eaten, along with Princess Angelica, who the battle toads were to protect. However, pimple took Princess Angelica space cruising in the toadster with space tires. The precipitous cruise. Professor T-Bird of Spaceship Vulture, known affectionately as Coach to the Toads. Professor T-Bird commands the strapping amphibious duo. Professor T-Bird provides the battle toads hints and witty phrases. Hold on tight and get ready for a fight. The battle toads are out of sight. Relaying this information to the battle toads, just in case they forgot. Then the professor presses button. She's watching you. The Dark Queen. The Dark Queen is captain of the ship-eating Gargantua, a vicious dominatrix that punishes not by whip, but by tongue. Fountain freaks. The Dark Queen mentions that they are not battle toads, but instead cattle loads. The Dark Queen calls them snot gobblers. The cattle loads are ready for action. Battle toads. The battle toads prove that the only real gobblers are their enemies. Gobble these knuckles. Nuclear knuckles. Feast on my frog boot. Big bad boot. The battle toads possess morphing abilities, transforming their webbed hands or feet during battle. The battle toads are completely nude, except for a cod piece and intimidation spikes and rashes sunglasses. Fierce. The Battle Toads breach planet Ragnarok via Turbo Cable. Space does not affect the Battle Toads. The Battle Toads are combat ready. The Battle Toads have a swift jab. Kiss my fist. They transform into bladed battering ram. BT bashing ball. They dispose of lesser minions with confidence, but approach greater minions with less confidence. The Battle Toads will be terrified. Regardless, the Battle Toads will prevail. Big butt. The Battle Toads torture their prey. They punish the lifeless carcass of ravens for points. Only the Battle Toads know their deadly score. The Battle Toads have six units of stamina, replenishing their life by eating golden flies. Consuming you will provide healing sustenance. We thank you. The Battle Toads continue on, decimating their enemies, pummeling them into the earth, holding no restraint towards kicking their immobile heads with swaying size 13s. Almost nothing can stop the Battle Toads' furious assault while they. Hmm. What are these bikes? No, 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 impossible bikes. No, no. Is there no way to. Oh, okay. Can the battle. Ugh, speed bike. The, ah! the battle toads will finally succeed. The battle toads need not warmth within the lands of chill, but instead their wits. They will solve the ice puzzle, and then they find. Oh, no, really? No, no. The battle toads will finally succeed, but become highly frustrated. So much so that they just pummel their enemies with power blows. Damn the combos. When fine. Oh, come on! No, no, no! <laughs> the battle toads will finally succeed. The battle toads' fragile nature is revealed upon traveling deeper into Ragnarok. Anything may and will kill them. Gas will kill them. Electricity will kill them. Sucking fans will kill them. Sucker. Giblet will outrun them and kill them. Finally, they will make it to the elevator shaft where... I, I have to do this all over? The entire... God. Quest with me. Learn with... Uh, no, forget it. I I'll do it. Okay. Okay. Yes. Made it. Shit. Quest with me. Learn with... Uh, nope. Forget it. I'll just cheat. The newly invincible battle toads may believe that they are created of natural matter, but they are not. Because for whatever reason, battle toads matter allows them to fall through objects like steel beams and platforms. Even when I'm clearly touching the f after facing the Dark Queen's loyal fleet of sharks, steel ducks, and iniquitous clouds of terror breath swell cheeks, they meet the Dark Queen, master of space Muay Thai, learning that the only 
only thing sharper than the Dark Queen's tongue is her knee. Twisty knee. The Dark Queen has tornado power. Luckily, Battletoads possess the power of kicking ass. The Battletoads beat her into escape. And then the Dark Queen does a tiger knee tornado into space that doesn't contain air or wind or oxygen for that matter, but she's alive. Also, rescued Princess Angelica that for some reason decided to go out on a space cruise in the Battletoads space car known as the Toadster is airlifted through space that doesn't have air and without a spacesuit, then reunites with the frog and bird spaceship that, you know what, I don't care, I'm done. Next episode. Hey, silly pundit. Karate's just for kids. Quest with me. Learn with us. Enrich your mind. Empower your anchor like our material. Subscribe to our page. Put character into quest. Return every Monday for more. A question. Oh, character.